my guys, this is Trina with Designs by Trina Essentially Wellness. I'm an Emory trained health coach and I have an interest in health and wellness. I am also an artist. I am not a, a trained dietitian or physician, so everything that I'm going to share with you is just based on personal experience and research. Over the last year and a half, I have lost over 25 pounds, and so the information I'm sharing with you is just what I've learned from my own personal journey. I hope you enjoy tonight's video. Tonight, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite low-carb meals, and it is a fish taco. I'm using a lettuce leaf instead of the normal taco shell and I'm gonna show you how I bake the fish to be more like fried fish. And instead of sour cream, I'm using a higher fat cottage cheese, adding a sprinkle of chipotle tobacco sauce. And oh, I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, I'm going to mix up my egg with some heavy whipping cream as a base to put on my fish. And then I will put crushed pork rinds on it and bake it in the oven for um, in four, on 425 for about probably 15, 20 minutes. Okay, and I'm going to dip the fish into this egg batter and I will put it in the pork rind, crushed pork rinds. I have this nifty little tool well. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. Some really fine crushed pork rinds. Next I'm going to take the fish and I am going to dip it into the pork rind and nicely cover this up. When I'm done I am going to put it over here in this parchment paper glass dish that I've already prepared and put it in the oven. This is what it looks like before going into the oven. This is an orange roughy fish. Looks like fried fish, doesn't it? That's what I love about using the pork rinds. Since I am making fish tacos, I thought I would add some vegetables to it to add on top. Sometimes I like to um, just put coleslaw without the carrots, the coleslaw mix, which is pretty much just shredded cabbage. I like to put that on top of my fish tacos. But today I just thought I'd do something a little different. So I got some zucchini and I'm just going to cut them into strips and then I'm gonna saute it with some onion, some garlic, and some, some curry gold butter. So I buy this Maripois blend in the freezer section. It just makes cooking so much easier and um, this will last quite a while where the fresh vegetables tend to go bad a little bit quicker than when I can get around to using it. And again, it is a low carb. Um, it's four grams of carb, but it has one gram of fiber, so it makes it three grams for carbs. And if you see here, this is actually for three-fourths a cup. I'm not going to use that much. So, again, it then drops down the carb content of my recipe. So, while the taco or the fish is in the oven baking, I have zucchini, I have celery, I have garlic and onions. Uh, sauteing them in the pan. Oh man, I wish you were that you could smell this. It is amazing. So I just wanted some a little bit more substance to my tacos and not just the um, fish. Usually I like to put some shredded cabbage on there, but today I wanted to just spice it up a little different. So I hope you enjoy this one of my all-time favorites. I add this to a lot of my dishes. It gives it a nice just smoky flavor and it doesn't take much as you can see. So I'm going to let that saute a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, so I just pulled the fish out of the oven. This is baked, not fried. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh my goodness, I can't wait to eat it. It looks delicious and it smells amazing. Look how juicy and tender that is. I had to bring it out to the natural light so you can see how beautiful this turned out. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to try it. My mouth is literally watering. Hey guys, so the low carb fish taco turned out beautiful. Now is the time for for the true tell. Does it taste as good as it looks? Pretty darn good. I think I'd probably add a little bit more Tabasco sauce on it to give it that smoked chipotle flavoring that most fish tacos have that I just absolutely love. I do have some sriracha mayo that is also low carb that I could add to it, but I think I'm just going to add the Tabasco sauce. So I hope you enjoyed this process and seeing how easy it is that you can make these low carb tacos using lettuce for your taco shells. And it took approximately about 30 minutes. So I don't like spending too much time in the kitchen on meals that take too much prep time. So hope you enjoy that and you have a great evening.